So today, I want to run some vaults. But before that, let's talk about knowledge. Now, you wouldn't believe it. In our soul shop, we actually got a knowledge star. And the other guys already helped me out with this, and they actually saved it just for us. So we'd be crazy not to take advantage and to get it. Not only did we get that knowledge star, but we also got about five trader cores that all were selling star cores. So all together, we've got six knowledge stars now. So let's talk about what we're going to get next. But before we get into what I'm unlocking next, if you're new to the channel, you can call me Zoofy Zuffy Zoofy or Zoof. And this is Zoofology. After a lot of thought, I think I want to get Applied Energistics. Now, this is an unpopular choice, I'm aware, because, well, refined storage is a lot easier to get started with. You don't have to deal with channels and you don't have to deal with types on each disk. What a refined storage does not have is being able to utilize patterns before you get automatic genius. And that includes processing patterns. So let's imagine, for say, this furnace here, I hook, want to hook up to my system and automate. So let's imagine this chest is a interface for applied energistics. I'm going to place this interface connected to the chest. Well, place the interface connected to the furnace. After that, I'm going to take patterns that work in that machine. So we can tell that one stone equals one smooth stone, and we can tell that one cobblestone equals one stone and it can fit up to nine patterns. Now, after that, let's say we're low on stone, or let's say we're low on smooth stone. It's going to check to see if we have stone. If we have stone, it'll put stone into this and make smooth stone. If we don't have stone, it will backtrack and it will say, okay, we need cobblestone to get stone. Okay, we have cobblestone. Let's put cobblestone in the furnace. After that, it's going to put the stone into the furnace to get the smooth stone. So I'll go ahead and say it. Because of recipes like these, we're gonna have to run some bolts in a good bit. Luckily, I do have some nice CRPs just for this.
And now, for the results. You know, it's almost the same size as my base. Yeah, not only was it a zero drop, but I forgot to vein mine. At least this time I'll remember to vein mine. And I've got one more still. I guess that means no echoes. However, here's what we got. Now we may not have gotten any echoes from that run, but we did end up uh, doing a mine room. Or we got a CRP, and his will being level 75, or I think he's level 80 now. He ended up getting a mine rune. So that allowed us to um, basically guarantee a mine within that CRP vault. And we did that with five of us. And we got a lot of echo. Like, I found four myself. Um, but in total, we ended up with about 43 echo gem gems after fortuning it. So... We got plenty of Echo to be able to start up Applied Energistics. And with that, I went ahead and mined out this whole area using Southern's RF Tools Builder block. I went ahead and mined it all the way to the ground. Um, and just above this is going to be like a cap. So you're not going to see all of that. But it's plenty of space to build down eventually. I have a plan for a base, but just the first floor alone is going to cost um, just the cap of it is going to end up costing that many blocks and I don't have that many building blocks of what I want to build it out of which is going to be blue alabaster I want to do blue alabaster for the walls that are seen on the outside and I want to do SpaceX 12 or SpaceX 10 actually for the floor so just the floor will be, I want to say, just the floor is going to be 3,600. And I don't have that many SpaceX 10 blocks. So that may be a task for the next video. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and uh, be sure to subscribe because I'm nine or 10 more people and I'm going to be hitting 100. So I'd appreciate your help on that. Anyways, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one.